Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Hump Day, Happy Wednesday. Weather-wise, it is absolutely gorgeous here on Vanderbilt Beach. It's just a minute or two after 7 o'clock. Clear skies, look at that skies, and look at that blue. Man, oh man. Let's say I have clear sunny skies this morning. Maybe see some clouds later. Maybe around noonish. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be a beautiful beach day though. Definitely beautiful beach morning. 73 degrees. Still dealing with that red drift algae though on the beach. Still dealing with that seaweed looking stuff. Again, I cannot stress it enough. It is harmless. It is non-toxic. It just gets a really unpleasant odor as it starts to rot and decay. We're going to take a stroll up to the north, up towards Del Norwegans. I'm just on the very north end of where the La Playa Beach Resort is. This is the north end of their hotel. A beautiful beachfront hotel that has plenty of rooms available for you if you want to come down and pay us a visit. Walk on the beach with me. Meet me early in the morning out on the beach at the La Playa. Wouldn't that be fun? That sun's just behind those trees over there. We'll get a peek at it here as I move up the beach a little bit. There it is. There is our beautiful sunrise. Hit that share button. Let our beach family know that I'm live. I'm live and alive. Yeah, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to be alive at the beach. to an early start this morning. I did do one live feed prior to this already. Hung out here together, watching those early morning colors develop and waiting for our sun to pop up over the treetops. No new seedle tur seedle hurdle and what? No new sea turtle nest on this stretch of Vanderbilt Beach, north of the Ritz. They did have three successful crawls at Del Nor Wiggins yesterday. So yesterday, as of yesterday morning, they had eleven nests now at Del Nor Wiggins. They must have had one on Monday. Sunday they had seven. So they had one on Monday and three yesterday. So they're starting to come ashore. Still kind of slow though here in North Naples.
our snowy egrets. Strutting past me. you were here with me. I wish you were here. Yeah, I wish you were out on the boat with us tomorrow evening. As far as I know, we still have two seats available for tomorrow evening sunset cruise. We're taking both boats out. It's going to be a lot of fun. BoatNaples.com, one word, BoatNaples.com, call them, get their number, call Captain Sandy, call her and wake her up, say you want to be on that cruise with us tomorrow evening. They're a lot of fun, complimentary beer and wine, a slunch Irish whiskey sunset toast. Water feels good on my toes. I think I'm gonna go have lunch at Naples House of Omelets this afternoon with Bad Bob. We're gonna go at one o'clock. We'll be there about one o'clock for lunch. If anybody wants to come by and join us, man, the food is awesome there. One o'clock at Naples House of Omelets. I just can't ever decide what I want there. Everything is so darn good there. <laughs> Their menu is too darn big. One thing nice about that place is you can get breakfast all day long. You can order off their breakfast and lunch menu all day long. From 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. every day. Except Christmas Day. They take Christmas Day off, as they should.
thread drift algae. I think it feels kind of cool underneath my feet. It's like walking on a big sponge. Probably not the smartest thing to do with bare feet. You never know what's tangled up into it. But like I said earlier, it could be some really nice shells caught up in this stuff. I found some real treasures tangled up in it. But you definitely can see why they call it red drift algae when that sunlight hits it. It's kind of almost like buffalo hair. That's what's how somebody described it. Buffalo like buffalo hair. beach here for you. A lot of beach. More sea turtle nests there in front of me. Sounds like some blackbirds in the background crowing, <laughs> squawking. Peaceful out here this morning. Quiet. Very quiet. It's going to be low tide here in North Naples at sunset this evening. This for you shellers. It's going to be like a super low tide. I don't know what it will be like at Del Nor Wiggins if you'll be able to get out onto those sandbars. It will be that low of a tide. But I saw a low tide, I think it was right around 8 ish.
is definitely calming down. Pretty much ripples this morning. Every now and then a little wave. Mostly ripples. The tide's just starting to come back in here. It's been coming in for, I don't know, an hour. 45 minutes, an hour. If you're just tuning in here, we're still dealing with that red drift algae on the beach. And I'll just keep saying it, it's harmless, non-toxic. Just gets a really foul odor as it decomposes. Foul odor to some. To me, it just smells like the ocean. Check the red tide map and it's showing low concentrations of red tide all up and down the coastline here. Very, 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 very low concentrations. Uh, nothing to really, it's pretty much always there somewhere. There's nothing to be alarmed about. If it looks like it's going to be getting bad, I'll let you know. i got to remember to start checking that now. Hopefully we won't have any serious bouts of that this summer. It's horrible when we get that bad red tide. Don't get this red drift algae confused with red tide. Two totally different animals. <laughs> if uh, you go back and look at the photos I posted yesterday morning from Vanderbilt Beach, you'll see the pictures of this red drip algae. If you look in the text description of that group of photos, you see a link. It'll take you to some information about red drift algae and red tide, the difference. From our friends at Moat Marine, good people, Moat Marine. They help me out. If I find something on the beach and I'm not quite sure what it is, I'll take a picture of it and send it to those folks and they help me out. Them and the Miami Seaquarium, they're good at that too. I took a picture of a big jellyfish on the beach one morning and for the life of me I couldn't tell what kind of jellyfish it was. There's two jellyfish that are like 
big jellyfish, big things that wash up on our beaches. Moon jellyfish. Now I can't even think of the name of the other one. But it's got a huge bell shape to it. Um, anyway, I couldn't figure out which one it was. Even after going online and comparing the two pictures. So Moat Marine told me it was a moon jelly. I don't know. <laughs> it, it took them a while to decide what it was, too. They passed it around all their experts. All the marine biologists. Mushroom cap. That's what the other one is. The mushroom cap. Both get pretty large. The moon jellyfish and the mushroom cap. You can see Del Norwegans now off in the distance, just beyond the condos. Our little piece of heaven on earth. We'll be up there before you know it. Get my toes in the sand on that beautiful mile long beach this morning. I got to get my dose of Wiggins when I come to the beach. Over how quiet it is out here this morning, man. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Get back over by that water. water here. It's pretty shallow right in here.
that water feels great. an osprey. It's on top of one of the buildings. I think it's on top of one of the condos. Another one of our sea turtle nests. area taped off than usual on that one normally it's more of a square that's a big rectangle unless there's two on top of each other that happens tracks from the crawl still on the beach here. Construction. Go up to Wiggins here. Then I'll be taking a short break. Still no stars this morning. Kind of discouraging.
There's some little teeny tiny bait fish, like little hatchlings that the birds are pulling out of the little waves when they come on shore. Just little morsels every now and then. All that wide open beach up there ahead of us. Who likes that beach? Who is a Del Norwegian's Pass State Park lover besides me? Anybody out there loving Del Norwegian's as much as I do? Anybody out there wishing they were just walking onto that beach right now with me? One person maybe. <laughs> A mile of heaven on earth right there. Glorious, my friends, glorious. I don't think the park's open yet. Still a little early, but yes, I do see some red drift algae along the shore here. That's what I was curious about. Is we went all the way up the beach up to the Wiggins Pass. Boy, listen to that osprey. Wow. I 
All right, do I do another live feed or do I call it quits for the morning? It's up to you. I'm going to take a little break here. Take a little break. Get some H2O. See if anybody was kind enough to send a tip this morning. No stars this morning. No stars yet this morning on Facebook. So I'm contemplating coming back for another live feed. Take a little walk in on the beach here at Wiggins. Man, listen to that osprey. Woo. That dude or dudette is loud. We're here in these trees. It's a kind of a regular occurrence in the morning. I love this park. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that beautiful beach. I love it with those shadows raking across it. Those early morning shadows. Man. Spectacular. Spectacular. All right. I'm going to take a break. I might be back. We'll see what happens. But don't see you later. Have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. And God bless America. God bless our wonderful, beautiful country. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.